what's going on everybody today i'm going to be using one of the best evil goblin giant decks and this deck is actually being used by a few people in the top 10 and a few people in the top 50 so okay it looks like this guy's going to be running hoggy q most likely i just started off with the goblin giant in the back the spear goblins are going to help out the only thing it's going to get yeah it's only going to get two hits that's not terrible but obviously it is two hits down all right so i will go prince right here that might have been three hits actually yeah, i think it might have been three all right i'll actually just go rage right here he shouldn't have too much skeletons go down right there with the rage prince is going to go up and help out but then that ice golem or my uh, goblin giant just freaking moved the ice golem out of the way so my prince just starts attacking the tower that's so nice all right we did too much damage to his tower right there or not too much we did so much damage compared to he did to ours originally so i should really glad with how that went i'm gonna go prince right here and then i'm actually gonna go phoenix in the back just for that musketeer just because the musketeer is going to be uh hitting the dark prince and doing a lot of damage to it hopefully my dark prince could rush up these tower Aw, oh, damn, I wanted the tower to start targeting the Dark Prince so my Phoenix could respawn, but, you know, it's alright. That was well played by him for going Ice Golem. He was Musketeer on the right side. Okay, so we're gonna see what I can do here. He's probably gonna go with the Hog next. I'm actually just gonna go Goblin Giant in the middle. Just because the Spear Goblin's gonna help out if he does go Hog. No, it looks like he's not. I'm just not even gonna protect the right side. The Musketeer, it, it, she's gonna die anyways. So right now, I'll actually go Prince in the middle once again. And I'll actually just go with another Rage. He goes Ice Spirit Evo. Nice. That's well played by him. That's nothing going to help him out because of the uh, goblin spawning too right there. Yeah, well played. Hopefully my prince could actually maybe get one hit. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Damn, it does destroy his cannon though. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. Alright, so I'll go bomber. The, uh, not on the back actually. I'll go bomber right here. I'll go dark prince in the back. Um, Just to get a charge in. And I really don't want his hog rider to get any more hits. He goes fireball. He's probably going to place another hog rider soon. So I'm just going to go dark prince right there. All right, he goes Ice Spirit. I'm actually, I don't need to zap it. It's not going to kill it. All right, he goes Ice Column. Oh, my Dark Knight or Dark Prince is still going to the tower. Let's go. It's definitely going to be able to kill it. Let's go. That's so nice. I'm just going to go Prince in the back right here, just in case he does hit place Hog. I might place Hog on the right side, though, so I'm going to go Goblin Giant on the right side. Let's see what he does. He goes Musketeer in the back. All right, I'm actually just going to zap that. Oh, okay. I should have zapped these Evo Skellies. No, it's all right, though. Oh no, that's so bad. The Evo Skelly stay alive. I'm actually just gonna rage right here too. It's completely alright, even though the prince like doesn't get like damage. Oh my god, it still kills the musketeer, no way. That was so nice right there, anyways. I'm just gonna go with Prince in the back once again. Yeah, he's gonna go hog with the dark prince. Oh no, I should have used Evo, Evo Zap. Actually, you know what? We we should be okay. The hog only gets one hit. Oh my god, I almost got two hits right there. That was a little scary. Now we do have a push on the left side, and I'm gonna get a push on the right side of the goblin giant right here, and I have to do have the Evo Zap too. Yeah, we already won. He knows he lost. This is GG's. All right, we're going to go into the next one, you guys. All right, going into this next one, we are versing Goofy Goober. All right, bro. All right, so I do start off with Zap. I do like starting off with an Evo Zap. L last game, I did start off with a Goblin Giant just to get the cycle off, which isn't exactly a bad play, but it also isn't the best play because it does cost six Alexer and it could counter your other side pretty easily. All right, so I'll actually just go Dark Prince up top here. He has three Musketeers. All right, bro, that's actually looking insane. Um, let's see what I can do here. I'm actually just gonna zap these guys. Oh, damn, no. Dark Prince, please get a hit. No, it got so close. Bomber at least gets a hit on all of them. That's not terrible. I'm actually just gonna leave the Musketeer. Oh, okay, I can't leave the Musketeer on the left side now. I was gonna say, I was gonna I'll leave the Musketeer on the left side because uh, it will die to the, um, what's it called? Cannoneer, but he did end up placing his Mega Minion there, so. Maybe my Prince could hit the. No, Prince doesn't get any hits on the Bandits, damn. Around the bandit, that's kind of sucks right there. I'm gonna go bomb right here. I think the bandit will uh, get hit by both cannoneers, and it doesn't take any damage because it's charging up. All right, that's so nice for me. Oh my God, no. All right, it's all right though. Do start off with a goblin giant. I might actually just go goblin giant left side because I don't want his uh, counter push to be attacking the same tower. Okay, he goes elixir pump. This might actually be good for me just because uh, he did spend a decent amount of elixir right there, and he's not gonna be have a lot to be defending with. Right, so we do have zap rage and arrows already i'm actually getting ready for a rage okay he goes elite barbs he's well played i'm actually still gonna rage here this speed is my goblin trying will be able to do a bunch of damage i'm actually gonna zap here too just get uh, another cycle off that zap and i obviously deal some damage maybe my phoenix could kill a mega minion that would actually be so nice oh it does and i'll go bomber right here yeah once again the cannon dude all right bandit's gonna take the tower right there it's all right though we're not doing too bad, honestly. This guy's just yawning, bro. All right. Let's see, what, let's see how you yawn after this, man. All right, so I do have Evil Goblin Giant. He has, uh, what's it called? Both electric pumps going. I'll actually just arrow both, honestly. I'm honestly not too afraid to arrow both right there. 
And uh, I'll go Dark Prince once again. And I do have Rage right here. Hopefully my Dark Prince with Diaz actually gives some good work. Ooh, Evo Zap right there. Yes, Evo Zap's gonna help out kill those Musketeers. That's so nice right there. Alright, so like I said, we are pretty much still in this. I just gotta play this decently well. Alright, so he goes Elite Barbs with that Musketeer. He use Arrows now just to kill that Musketeer and deal some damage to that Mega Minion. Nice, that was a pretty good defense. That Mega Minion might actually get one hit though. Ooh, Bandit! No, the Bandit's gonna get a hit. That does suck right there. I didn't want it to get any hits. He does... Uh, I, I think he might kind of be low on Elixir though. I'm actually just going to zap that E-Pump so it doesn't get two, two Elixir off instead of that just one. Uh, Dark Prince please hit. Yes, he does get a hit on the Musketeer. That's nice. Alright, so he might be going in for all in on the right side right there. I'm not too sure. Yeah, he is going all in on the right side. I kind of predicted that a little bit. I'm actually just going to air all that stuff. And then I'll use Rage on my Tower and my Prince right there. Then I'll just use Zap right here too. Nice. Oh my god. Look at that. The freaking Rage King Tower and the Rage Prince just did so much work right there. That was so nice. Alright, Bomber's walking up, so I can actually utilize that a bit if he doesn't want to kill it. Which I will actually go Goblin Giant right there. And then I will actually go Phoenix for that Mega Minion. Alright, so I will actually just end up raging. Oh, yes, the Bomber! Oh my god, the Bomber just did so much damage to that whole thing right there. All those Musketeers I didn't even have to worry about anymore. Alright, so that is so nice for me. He might actually... Yeah, I was going to say, he might start attacking the left side. Yeah, my predictions are low-key on point. Even though I didn't stay right there, I was literally thinking that. Alright, so left side is going to be uh, pretty much dead. He might try to do something on the right side, but the Musketeer is low, so I kind of doubt it. Yeah. Okay, so he's just trying to defend really... Or, like, not exactly just defend really well. He's trying to attack at the same time and just get my tower lower than his, which is well played, you know? It is overtime. Alright. So he does use Elite Barbs right there. I'm actually going to go Prince. He's going all in right now. Okay. I do have Evo Zap here, so Evo Zap is going to help out my defense immensely. Yeah, there we go. Evo Zap just helps out so much. And then <laughs> Rage on the Goblin Giant. This guy's done for. There's no way he's winning this with a Goblin spawning it too. Yeah, GG's. He should have just kept protecting his tower, honestly. He could have easily won that, but we end up winning that. All right, here is the deck, you guys. This deck is honestly amazing. Now, as you guys could see, I do have the Cannoneer with this, even though it is a 3.5 Elixir deck. It, though it is still really, really good because you have Rage, you have Evo Zap, you have Arrows. Those are all three Splash cards. Plus, you have Dark Prince and you have Bomber for more Splash. So, if they do have like cards like a Goblin Gang or Graveyard or anything like that, you do still have the possibility to win the match since you have all these Splash cards. But, anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. It is free and you could always change your mind. Like I just said, I hope you enjoyed and have a great day, you guys.